Dang, guys, the title says it all. That is right. Not single, but we're going to do twin turbo build here on Blue. So stick around and look no further because this 351 is definitely getting some upgrades. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping back by. I am super thrilled today. I mean, we have some exciting stuff we got going on here with Blue. We're taking him to a whole nother level. We're not gonna do the naturally aspirated 351. We are, we're gonna kick it up a notch. Not with one, but like the title of the video says, we're doing twin turbo GT3582s. That's right, twin turbo GT35s. Uh, and What's gonna be really nice too is uh, Blue is not gonna be a race truck or nothing like that. It's my, my fun truck, my daily driver. So his boast is gonna be minimal. It's gonna be very low, anywhere between six and 10, but we're gonna do uh, twins on it. And so what I'm gonna do in this part of my series is go ahead and show everybody my steps on what it takes to get uh, your F100 or your Fox bodies, the 351 Windsor, 302, whatever, uh, in that genre, twin turboed. So we got some stuff exciting coming your way. So please hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification, leave me those comments and always subscribe and share my information if you want. But please stick around because this next build guys is next level. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, we're gonna talk some specs real quick uh, just for the uh, folks of you out there who don't know. And uh, for those of you who do, just please uh, bear with me and we can go ahead and skip forward here if you don't want to uh, listen to, to this. But uh, this is a T3 exhaust setup. Um, this is the bottom side, of course, of the turbo. Uh, this is going to be your drain side. And what you see here on each side, right there. And on this side too, right here, that's going to be your, your coolant or your water line. Uh, en entrance and exit so it has an added feature if you do want to go cool uh, a coolant way to keep these cool um, if not you can plug them definitely up to your discretion and then of course here on top that's going to be your your oil feed line and it is pressurized there so let's go ahead and go up top here on the housing um, so what's really nice about uh, this turbo here, the, this GT35, is its cost effectiveness. Um, I got it for like 150, um, and honestly, guys, the quality here is it's unmatched for the dollar dollar to dollar comparison. Uh, yes, there's the Precisions out there, uh, the Garretts, uh, whole sets, all these other turbos that are branded and are popularized because they do good work. They do add that horsepower. But, you know, here what I'm doing with my particular build is I'm trying to keep it so somewhat budget, you know, conscious in mind. So that's the route I'm going. So these are from Max Speed and Rods right there. I'll go ahead and put a, uh, a link down there in the, the comments too to where you can go and click on their website. And like I mentioned too, below will be more specs. But uh, up top here, the, the housing is cast. It's not billet, uh, which, you know, I guess that is okay just for my, my needs that I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, what's really nice and I noticed about the quality control here is look at the blades. So what they've done is after they put this together on the assembly line, they mark it. They mark all, uh, everything pretty much. Let me show you. So everywhere that there's a bolt, you can, you can tell that there are uh, markings to show that it's uh, torqued down to spec and that it's been properly put together. So that says a lot. You know, this to me, 
And of course, this is my, my first turbo build, so I'm not going out there buying tons of turbos. But compared to some of the, the big name guys, if I didn't know better, I wouldn't know that, you know, this is a, a less expensive turbo. I've uh, done a lot of research, as you guys probably have too, on YouTube, and I've heard a lot of uh, good stuff. So, again, with my budget mind, uh, budget minded build here, you know, if, if it does decide to not do so well, then $150 to replace it versus $400 versus $1,000 versus $2,000 for a turbo, uh, to me, you know, I can't go wrong. All right, so here on the back side, um, of course, this is the part that gets uh, mounted to your header. Again, we're doing we're doing uh, twins here, um, which is the T3 T3 adapter. Uh, the back side, this is going to be what's what, what you run out to your exhaust, and it's a, a four bolt, four bolt exhaust downpipe, and um, that will just be routed you know, whichever direction that you want, want your truck done. So I noticed right off the bat, first thing I did when I unboxed it is I'm moving it up and down right now. There's no, no play on the shaft here. No in and out, no front and back. And I know we're not supposed to spend a whole bunch just cause it's not oiled, but it spins freely and Wide as a whistle, at least right now. <laughs> so uh, let's dig a little bit deeper, guys. All right, so after I un uh, unbox it here, this is the goodies that come inside. And uh, you do get all the gaskets, which is nice. So you get the four bolt uh, exhaust flange gasket, you get the T3 um, header uh, mounted gasket, and also the oil drain and the oil feed gasket right there too. And of course, you can never go wrong with some decals. Pretty nice. So right here uh, is my passenger side of the motor and you probably noticed right off the bat, the header looks a little different. Uh, so to give you just a little bit of a runaround um, on these, uh, what I did is just pretty much turn them upside down. Uh, that's all I did, both the uh, the driver's side and the passenger. Um, on my other videos, if you haven't seen them already, uh, what these are, these are the BBK 1515. Uh, you pick them up anywhere between 250 and 300 bucks for the set of them, but they are BBK shorties. And they do fit the 302 and the 351 Windsor. And there's probably other engine uh, models out there that it fits as well. Um, so that's what I'll be actually using for this install. So some, there's a couple uh, people out there who actually will put your passenger or uh, your passenger over on a driver. So instead of a higher top mounted turbo, it's mounted more at, at a lower stance. Uh, so real quick, the reason I went ahead and opted in doing this, and again guys, if you guys have an 80s model 351, um, you might want to opt in on doing it this way too. So I've already tried um, moving my power steering pump, which that would have been fine. I was able to actually move it up and lift it up out of the way. That way, you know, we don't have, we'll have more clearance and this exhaust just doesn't melt the reservoir and have power steering fluid everywhere. So that wouldn't have been a problem. My problem what I had was if I was to take my passenger side uh, or, uh, yeah, header and put it over here and aim it down. I was having clearance issues with my, uh, uh, my oil filter. Yes, I could have moved it. Um, but I don't want to go that route. So this route to me is going to be more of the direction on how, uh, I want to proceed with the build. Uh, what I plan on doing is just moving this guy a little bit. Um, I want to cut these slots down that actually hold the power steering pump and I'm going to move it all the way down. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just remove it, but that's kind of like what, where we are now. So the only issue with flipping up 
the headers this way and having them up high versus low is clearance with your spark plug. And with that, you probably see right here, uh, I have it plugged with um, paper towel just to keep any bugs and dust out of there. But because it's straight on the bottom, these will not clear. That's why they have this cut here. And when the header's flipped, there's perfect clearance. So what I'm gonna have to do is take my cutting wheel and grinder and go ahead and pretty much do the same thing right here on this side to each one all the way down. And then I'm gonna be able to use this exhaust setup. Uh, so ultimately, um, it's gonna be a top mounted uh, twin turbo setup. So this build is going to be in series for sure because there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna have to move around. For example, my fuel pressure regulator and all that because now I have heat up here so we don't want anything catastrophic going on. So you guys stay tuned on that because there's gonna be a lot of relocation and fabrication for this build and it's gonna help you guys out there uh, with the 351s or 302s, especially for the uh, F-Series, F-100, F-150 trucks, 250s, 350s, whatever. But basically, you know, the classic style big engine bay models. So, so bear with me because this thing is like 25 pounds and uh, doing this one handing and shooting is pretty crazy. So build line, here's the top of the radiator. It's going to be sticking up about like that. And if you look at it in parallel of the exhaust, there's the four bolt. And what I'll need to be fabricating is the, uh, I'm gonna be getting the T390 along with the 45 and get that welded on there. All right, so pretty much here's my mock-up. I got it set on my a toolbox there, but um, it might be probably an inch or so higher than it is now. It's kind of hard to do that. Uh, to keeping it balanced so it doesn't tip over. Uh, but that's gonna be the gist of it. And over here on this side where my battery is, um, it's still gonna be okay here, but I might have to relocate it. I might move it back there or in the tailgate. So we'll kind of see on that. So definitely look up and wait for these upcoming videos. Uh, but that's gonna be the, the look of it. And what I'll probably do is run screens versus filters. Haven't uh, decided that yet. Uh, but they do have shallow mount, so there's to be plenty, plenty of room, and I can uh, go ahead and relocate my uh, coolant overflow can. And what I'll have to do too is relocate probably my uh, my windshield washer uh, uh, fluid reservoir. So, so I already got the auxiliary fan, which is nice, and it is timed on coolant. So when I do shut the vehicle off. Uh, because of uh, the relay that's in here, it'll stay running until it cools down past 180. That's the uh, thermostat that I have in there, then it'll shut off. So this will give more engine time for cooling and cooling off these turbos. Uh, plus they're gonna be uh, water cooled too, uh, but there's plenty of room, plenty of room. Uh, the intercooler I'll be going with is, it's a 27, a 27 by 12, by three and a half. So there's plenty of room um, because I took off the mechanical fan and I have the electric fan. We got about what, four inches? So this, what I'll probably have to do is take my radiator mounts and move them about four inches back so the intercooler can set up front because looking down in here, I would have to cut my, my brace that holds the uh, the hood release, which I don't want to do that. So I think it'll fit in there just perfect. Well, this pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I wanted to go ahead and put out uh, this new build series, taking Blue, uh, his 351 from Naturally Aspirated, adding some boost to it. So uh, please follow along because we have some really cool stuff coming your way. A lot of awesome comment. Um, a lot of interesting things that is gonna also help you guys in the fabrication of your own build. 
Uh, there's not a lot of F100s out there that actually show in depth uh, how to go ahead and not just turbo your truck, but twin turbo your truck. So I'm gonna do my best to provide as much information, much video footage, feedback, and detail that I can to uh, you know challenge myself, but also show you guys this can be done uh, to your vehicle. So like always guys, uh, all of your comments, all of your likes, all of your shares help my, my channel and support in reaching its goal. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So uh, like always guys, until next time, God bless.